All right, I'm going to stop right there. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rekar, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you. I came out there that's pushing his truth and true sincerity. All right, I'm just going to go straight to the scriptures, man. No need for my commentary. Isaiah 29 and 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers have he covered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, not men and women, all right? Saying, read this, I pray thee, and he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, and he saith, I am not learned. Okay, Israel is not learned, man. They think that what happened in times before is going to go into the times that we're facing now. Okay, you people fail to under understand that there's an election of Israel. Okay? And that's being taught from the apostles and elders on down of Great Millstone. Not all Israel is going to unify together. That will take another 400 years for Israel to get together. Okay? Job 39 and 17, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. All right, women getting proud, trying to tell men about the Bible is going way the hell off, man. You women just stick to making garments, okay, cleaning the house, smelling good, and looking good for your man, your prospective man. You don't need to be teaching, okay, because women do not understand these mysteries, okay, let me go back to, uh, let me go to, let me give an example. Well, let me give an example of division and separation in the Bible, man. Because Jake is just on this unity tip. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, pray not, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And now Jeremiah in this chapter, he couldn't understand why his people were so against him. And they weren't against him. They were against Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shy. 
But at the end of the chap chapter, he just basically gave up and said to hell with them. Okay, because they were out to kill them. The, the ones that were in his own city of Anathoth. All right. So the Lord said, pray not thou for this people. Not everybody who says they're Israelite is going to get this, man. Okay. Let me go into Matthew. But matter of fact, let me show you some more separation in the Bible. Okay. Because uh, Israel is on this. The elect is going to unify. Okay. The elect is going to come together. Because they speak one body and one mind. Okay. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That don't sound like coming together. It sounds like coming together to get slaughtered, but not unification. But the third shall be left therein. That's talking about, you know, the one third, you know. All right. Two thirds are going to be cut off and die here in America. And Jake is just all the way off with these doctrines, man. I mean, it doesn't. You have to have the spirit of the Lord on you. And these people, this woman talking about the spirit. She don't know what the spirit is, man. Quick homework question. What is the spirit? And I know you watch these videos. And are you same scoffers that scoffed on this uh, page and I was trying to correct this couple. All right. What is the Holy Spirit for you scoffers out there? Put it on the comment board. That's your homework question. Get back, get back at this page by the end of the week and tell me what the Holy Spirit is. Okay? So all you go along to get along, Israelites. Some of y'all call them Yah, Yahushua, Yeshua, Yeshua, Ahia. Some of you, hell, even some of y'all call them Jehovah. So how are y'all unified when you have different names and different doctrines? That makes no sense at all. So I'm going to get something for you people out here. All right, the election is going to be unified, all right? This is Matthew chapter 24. Verse 31, it says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. The scriptures say, Blessed is he who readeth. All right, study to show thyself approved. You can't just read the Bible and just think you know it all. You have to be taught from men. And that's for you, you scoffers too. Oh, you guys follow men. Who the hell? You can't have the whole man. Let me let me just explain myself. I'm getting a little excited here. You have to have men that teach you, okay? Just like Philip, okay, in the Ethiopian eunuch. Matter of fact, let's see if we can find that man before I get to Matthew. For you guys, all oh, you guys follow men, you all oh, that scoffing, man. Because I know you butthurt Israelites are going to see the picture of this couple trying to teach and you're going to get all sensitive. All right, uh, Acts 8 and 31. And he said, this is Philip, the account of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. When the Ethiopian eunuch was trying to read the prophet Isaiah. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. So how can I accept some man should guide me? The apostles and elders are guiding us. Okay? You, did, you just didn't wake up one day and the Most High gave you all this understanding. A man had to guide you. Case closed. For you scoffers, man. Just grow up. Don't make no damn sense, man. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 31. Let's look at that word elect.
G fifteen eighty nine Eclectos. Strong's G fifteen eighty eight Eclectos. 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 Okay. This is who is going to unify together through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Picked out, chosen. Chosen by the Most High. Now, everybody who says that Israelites are chosen by the Most High to obtain salvation through Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Christians who are Israelites are called chosen or elect of God. The Messiah is called elect as appointed by God to the most exalted office conceivable. Choice, i.e., the best of its kind of class. So the Lord is looking for the best kind of Israelites, the, the higher up, the higher echelon, which is the elect. Not you everyday, everyday Joe Blow Israelites. All right? We want to talk about let's come together. But y'all y'all call the most high different names. That makes no damn sense. Excellence, preeminent, applied to certain individual Christians who are Israelites. Okay? So the most high... Is looking for the election that he picked out from the foundation of the earth, man. All right? And you have to be guided by men who know better. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 9. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself. All right, let's go back down. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Yahweh Shai, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Let's look at that word predestinated because the elect were predestinated from the foundation of the earth to be picked out or chosen for salvation. Okay. That's why you have to make your calling and election sure. You have to go out to the highways and hedges and preach and no women are not going to be preaching on the highways and hedges and they damn sure shouldn't be getting on videos acting like they know something. Job 39 and 17. How hard is that to understand? Strong G, 4309. Prarizo. 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 To predetermine, decide beforehand in the New Testament of God decreeing from eternity to foreordain a point beforehand. So the Most High has appointed beforehand the election to obtain salvation. Okay? So not everybody's going to come together except for the election. Okay? For you go along to get along, happy, happy, joy, joy, Israelites, man. Death and destruction is coming here to America, man. And y'all are not ready. And I'm not saying like I got everything going on together. You know, but I'm you know, we are one step ahead of you uh go along to get along, Israelites, man. Now this is a scripture that was on the comment board of that video. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That you all speak the same thing. And you guys don't all speak the same thing. You have different doctrines. You call the Most High different names. And that there be no divisions among you. But that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That's the election. Okay? That's the election. Those ones who are picked out from the beginning of the earth to obtain salvation. If you don't like that, take it up with the Most High. All right? It's funny how you guys always talk about, uh, you always point out shots at the apostles and elders, man. Get mad at the Most High, okay? He's the one that came up with the election, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai came up with the election. Take it up with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now everybody's going to be together and join together. We can't do that. That's too much confusion, man. we would be here another 400 years trying to, trying to teach niggards, all right? Romans 9 and 6, not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. All right? 
That's plain and simple. I don't have to break that down, man. But for you dummies out here, not everybody that's saying they're Israelite is going to be saved. There's an Israel of the Most High. Okay? The election. All right? Last scripture. This scripture cups all that. Let's come together in unity, even though you have different doctrines. All right? Second John verses, uh, let's start at verse nine. Second John verses one, verse nine. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh shall have not the most high. He that abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh shall have both the Father and the Son. Verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, Receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. What does Godspeed mean? Don't bid him Godspeed. And all you, this, this, now you women, this is not some woman's liberation right, man. All right? Sit down and shut up and be humble. Godspeed. G fifty four sixty three, Cairo, Cairo, Cairo. To rejoice, be glad. To rejoice exceedingly. To be well, thrive, and salutations hail. At the beginning of letters, to give one greeting, salute. So it's basically like you're not supposed to salute these guys or give them greeting, because not coming with the right doctrine, man. All right, for he that bid of him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. All right, that's what the scriptures say. Don't get, don't get mad. Don't get mad at the men who's out there risking their lives to bring out this word week in, week out, while you sitting at home with your wife and all you other guys on the keyboard scoffing. At, and then we click on your page, you have no content. All right, so with that, I hope you're edified. While you scoffers, whatever, all right? Shalom to the election. The election, those ones who were picked out from the foundation of the earth to obtain salvation, all right? One more scripture. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, okay? You guys just get on here and start putting a bunch of scriptures. It, it has me to believe that you just watch IUIC videos and then you, you see the scriptures that's up on, the, up on their videos, and then you read it, but you don't have any understanding. Blessed is he that readeth and, that they, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Okay? So with that, I want to say shalom to the election.